Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to speed up and save battery life on your LG V40. These are the first things you should do as soon as you get this device out of the box. So let's get started by going into settings and start our big changes. First and foremost, we're gonna do the traditional one, which is just going to system, then going to about phone, then software information and hitting build number repeatedly. This makes us a developer and which will allow us to do certain things that we need to do. So first of all, in the developer options, warning, don't do anything here unless you know what you're doing. Okay. So first and foremost, we're going to scroll down to the drawing category, and we're gonna change these three things from one X that say animation and scale to 0 0.5. So this will basically help speed up the device. What I also personally like to do, see if you like it, uh, is also change the width uh, to a little bit of a higher number. You can change it back, 411 is the default on this device but this allows you to have more space on your phone. So you see how I just got more to fit in my phone? Uh, if you want to maximize your phone uh, real estate, this really helps it along. You can fit a lot more in there. So I really like this um, and it, you can just fit more in the screen now. All right, now that we did that, let's go to the display. So in display, there's a couple of different things that we would wanna do. One, you could change the theme to a dark wallpaper. I do not uh, like most of the themes here, but if you do find a theme that is really dark, say like this one, you can make the settings then also uh, reflect it. So that's what's nice about it. I haven't found one that I like personally, but there is uh, certain ones you can find. Now, secondly, you want to get rid of the notch. So you're going to go to custom, black, and then the curved corners. Now you might notice the mine's a little bit different. And in some uh, devices, you're going to have a notch on certain apps. However, what I recommend you get is an app called Nacho Notch. What this does is it basically overrides the existing notch and you can always quickly get to it right here. So if I would now go into an app, the notch would reappear. So LG, I feel, doesn't do a good enough job of getting rid of the notch. So with this, it allows me to better implement hiding the notch in all apps. It also allows me to do this really cool thing where I have a back, a home, and a recent apps button here, but you can't see any of them for most of the time uh, in most apps. So I really like that. It's, it just gives an incognito kind of mode and anything that you have, the darker you can use in your screen, uh, it allows you to have the ability to save battery life because the more black that's on your screen, the more uh, pixels you're not using, which gives you more battery life. All right, now let's finish up with the display. So you are also going to want to change HDR effect video. So this will make all your videos look better when you watch them. That's a really good thing. Comfort view, I recommend doing this. Uh, it's just a great way uh, to make yourself go to sleep more easily and not stay up all night. Uh, then we have mini view, which is good. Just basically you swipe. And what this will do is it allows you to use the phone one handed. So now you can use the phone more easily with one hand and it just gives you like a really small smartphone. So I really like that. And you just swipe back to get the full size screen. So they really should call it one handed mode, but for some reason they don't do it on this device. All right, from there, we are going to go to your uh, battery options. Oops. And we'll get to certain apps that you want to remove. Uh, make sure your battery percentage is on and make sure you have no apps uh, excluding the power saving exclusions. It's just something you don't wanna have uh, and certain apps you download may put themselves in there. So just check over that part. Now, what you also wanna do is delete any bloatware that you do not want on your phone. For instance, McAfee security is a big bloatware that I'm gonna get rid of immediately because it slows down your phone dramatically. Uh, this goes the same for Lookout or other apps such as that. You wanna get rid of those and this will help your phone run more fast. So the last thing I want to recommend is LG's uh, version of this phone is not the best I would say. It just doesn't have the same kind of speed. It's just not as quick but I recommend downloading a launcher, which is going to make it not only look better,
but move a lot quicker. So you're gonna be able to move a lot quicker than you would otherwise um, in this phone. So this is called Nova Launcher. We've done plenty of videos on it. Check it out on our channel. Make sure to subscribe as well but this will make your phone run a lot quicker and it has a lot better interface, completely customizable, and you can make your uh, folders look like whatever you want them to. Just really great overall and definitely recommend uh, getting this for your phone. All right, guys, so that was just a bit of how I really recommend you set up your LG smartphone to run faster, way better battery life. Let me know in the comment section down below any tips you may have or any things you've noticed about your device in general. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.